Welcome back to Amber and Cole's English Springer Spaniel family. Today we're going to look at Cole's sore foot. He has a sore foot here. He's been licking it a lot. We were wondering what's wrong with it and I think there's a boil. You can hear a little cystic little boil. Either that or he's got a grain of grass or something stuck in his foot or a little hot spot. We're going to take this hair and we're going to trim it all off and then we're going to soak it in some Epsom salts and some things like that. But first we're gonna show you what we would do to help Cole's foot heal. We'll bring you on the journey of Cole and his sore foot. His half of his feet done, we're in the middle of his haircut. He hadn't gotten to the other side yet and we noticed his sore foot. So we're gonna continue with it, on with that. Hey right, Cole, is it bothering you? It's a sore foot, eh buddy? Yeah. He did a lot of licking. He doesn't been licking his other feet. They all look normal. So I'm going to pick Cole's foot up and I'm going to first trim all the excess fur off. I'm going to basically do it like I'm going to groom his foot and then I'll probably take a little bit extra off where his foot is sore. First we're going to just round it and we'll take off his hair inside. Here in Ottawa, Canada, it's gotten really hot these last few days and Cole's been waiting for his his haircut. So they, it could be just a hot spot from the, the heat, but we're gonna take all the bothersome hair out, pull his feet down, and then we'll address medicating it up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna look at the front here. So if your dog has never had this before, I would suggest going to the vet and getting, their, um, getting them to just to weigh in and see how it is. I may take Cole to the vet. We'll see if it doesn't go away in a day or two and looks worse or anything like that. I will definitely take him to the vet. But Cole has had these before quite a few times. So this is not his first time getting these little teeny boil type things, cysts in his feet. And they usually heal after some Epsom salts and me cleaning the hair up. So I'm going to my downward angle. I'm going to take all the excess out like a normal foot haircut. And then I'm going to go back in after and I'm going to take even a bit more out so that it can heal properly. I think it's this toe over here on the inside left is the one that's sore. Okay, so I'm just trying to take out what's wet and red on his foot where it's been bleeding. So his foot's not going to look as good as it always looks after a haircut. As you can see, see it's all in here. It's right here I think is where his little sore is. some of the extra just kind of open it up and then we'll soak okay so Cole's foot is all done here it's all nicely exposed where his sore is it looks like it's on the top of his foot it's not really in between it's at the top so we're going to use some good old Epsom salts and some warm water here and we're going to put that some salts in the warm water and then let it sit for a little bit and then we're going to soak his foot with a good hefty helping of Epsom salts. We'll mix it around and we'll soak his foot. I'll probably soak it two or three times a day until it's feeling better. I think that was a little bit too much Epsom salts, but the first time it won't hurt to soak a little bit of extra. So we'll do this maybe twice a day, morning and night. And then his foot, even opening it like that, his foot will heal up much faster and there'll be less licking and, and the sore foot. Okay, now I'm going to put Cole's foot in this extra tin dinner dish I have. He says it stings a bit. Yeah, it stings a bit, buddy? Yeah, but it must feel a bit nice. It was oozing when I was picking his foot up to groom. I was getting some little bit of blood and things. So I'm going to try to open his little toes. It's going to hurt a bit, but just make sure in case it's inside there a bit. I just keep lapping the water over it. Let him sit here for a couple minutes. Then I'll pat him down with a towel and I'll be done. Okay, Cole says he's done. He's been squeaking here saying he doesn't want to soak any longer. Are you done now? Yes, you're done. Okay, so we'll do it again tonight before bed. I'm just going to take it out, put it on his towel here, and I'll dump that down the sink. And then I'm just going to dry, just going to dry his foot here. Pat it down with the towel. Give it a gentle, 
Um, I want to make sure it's dry though so that it it dries up and heals. Good boy. So this is day two of Cole's little cyst on his foot here. I trimmed a bit more hair off so you can see exposed it a little bit more. It still looks wet and oozing a bit. I'm gonna give it another day and then I'm gonna probably phone the vet and go and see if I can find some cream for it. But we've been using our Epsom salts bath twice a day and I'm gonna, I was doing some research and it said maybe to do a light peroxide bath, so water with a bit of peroxide in it. We're gonna get that a little try this afternoon. We'll let you know how it looks tomorrow. Hopefully we're seeing some improvement. So here's an update on Cole's foot. We're still looking after it. We did call the vet and they're gonna give us some antibiotic for it because it is not getting better quickly. Well, it's kind of spread. It looks a little bit worse, sadly. Hey Cole, and Cole can't stop licking it. So we gotta get something to start making it feel better. Cole, no more licking. I'm gonna put a cone on you soon, eh buddy? So this is our last update on Cole's foot. You can see it back here, it's doing much better. Still has some scabs and looks sore, but it's not swollen anymore. It's not oozing. It's all scabbed up. He's been on antibiotic for a week. He has a three week course of antibiotics. So we're not even halfway yet, but it is looking a lot better. He had some little spots on his lips too. And as you can see, they're all gone. There's nothing on his lips anymore. So I think my soaking of his foot definitely helped, but in this case, it definitely was a trip to the bat. So you could always try it home yourself for a day or two are looking better or progressing the way you wanted to then of course calls to the vet right now with covid in canada things are just starting to open up a little bit but the vets aren't they're overbooked and they're not taking new patients and they won't even let us in with the dogs but this case i sent a whole bunch of pictures and his symptoms and all stuff a big long email to our vet and it took them a couple days sadly i think it took us three or four days to get the medication but at least he got it and now he's healing and feeling better. Right, Ember? You can play with Coley again? Yeah. Thank you for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel family. We'll be back with some more grooming and fun with the pups and any other updates. But Cole is on the mend now and hopefully his foot will go back to having hair on it in another couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.